it's not very common to have an inbound avalanche at a groomed ski hill. That's exactly what happened at Silver Star Mountain Resort on Wednesday. One person was injured, but the extent of his injuries are not currently known. Silver Star is bringing in professional avalanche experts to assess the entire mountain to make sure the skiers are safe. Um, all of Putnam Creek, um, also known as our backside, has been closed uh, since the incident occurred yesterday on Wednesday. And we are not planning to reopen Putnam Creek anytime before Sunday. If we do open up Sunday, it will be completely based on an assessment done by professional avalanche experts. And they are coming in, the, the avalanche experts are coming in um, tomorrow and they will be assessing the mountain on Friday and Saturday as well as Sunday. We have had avalanches at Silver Star before. Um, none, we've never had an isothermal avalanche like this one, but as I said, we definitely have had avalanches occur up at the mountain before. In the 60s, there was someone um, who did die as a result of an avalanche um, on the front side of our mountain, but we haven't had anything like that happen since. Uh, yesterday, after the first avalanche uh, occurred on the backside, the isothermal avalanche, we did have a very small avalanche occur on our front side, also on a black run. Um, no one was injured, no one was involved in this avalanche, but as uh, safety precautions, we are having experts, avalanche experts, come and assess the entire mountain just to make sure it's safe. But as of right now, we have closed um, a few areas on our front side that, are, that do get a lot of sun. Isothermal avalanche is a little bit different than a regular avalanche. It's usually due to um, warming temperatures and zero degrees is usually when an isothermal avalanche could happen. And so what happened on the backside, that um, area where it happened uh, was a double black diamond run, really steep terrain. You actually have to hike into that run a little bit and um, it does face the sun a lot of the time. It gets a lot of sun. For Castanet News, I'm Darren Hatchew in Vernon.